Hey everybody, this is a short little video about a charity build that I'm doing. I'm building a clock to be given away in a raffle, um, which is for Relay Riders UK. You may have heard of them. Go and follow them on Twitter, Facebook, I think they're on Instagram as well maybe. Are they on Facebook? They're around, they're in a few places, but I follow them on Twitter and been helping promote them through that for a while. They're doing great work and raising good money, um, and they're not necessarily getting the recognition they deserve. So, when they contacted me a while ago, because someone actually bought one of my clocks and gave it to them for their raffle to, to um, you know, to sell raffle tickets on. I think that was last year. Uh, and then they contacted me this year and said, hey, would you mind making a clock and donating it to give away in the raffle? Uh, and the person was like, I understand this is a big ask of you because you're you know, self-employed, so this is going to cost you. And I'm like, well, I will do it because they're doing great work. I think they need to be recognised more and it's just a nice thing to do. Uh, so I also thought rather than just making it about me, how can I make the clock that I'm giving away a little bit more interesting? Uh, and this is actually donated from Lamb Chop Rides. You may have known him, heard of him, known him, heard of him on YouTube. Go and check him out. Lamb Chop Rides, great YouTuber, becoming very popular these days. Um, this is from his Husqvarna 701. And I thought it would be nice if I make the clock and it's from his bike. It makes it that more special if you're interested because quite a lot of people that watch his channel might watch my channel. Um, people might like it. So, I've already done some cleanup work on this and I couldn't quite decide what I was going to do with it and I spoke to people on social media like, what should I do? Should I, should I paint it some my clocks? Should I clean it up more? Should I leave it as it is? And people were a bit all over the place but there was one running theme which is just kind of leave it as it is. And I do want to do that but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear coat the, uh, the disc, uh, disc, the sprocket once I've cleaned up even more. Um, just to make it pop a bit more, and obviously it'll protect it. I've already started work on the clock face. All my clocks are completely handmade. This was trimmed out by hand using like a um, trims and a Dremel, and I'm going to be Dremeling out the holes uh, where, it, where it would protrude behind here. And the idea of this video is just so when the person wins this clock, they can come and see it being made, or at least some of it being made. And I want to say to you who won it, congratulations, and thank you for supporting that charity. It's very good of you. As I say, go and check out Relay Riders UK. I'll catch you in a bit. So I've been cleaning and cleaning for ages uh, and in starting to do that the outside edge started to peel the colouring and it was like that actually looks quite nice so because I need to get this dirt off anyway even if I'm spraying it or not I need to I started going over it and it came off very easily so this outer ring is now a nice sort of accent I'm now going to get every last bit of grease off of this and then I'm going to clear coat it and then while that's drying I'll start working on this
Okay, so three days has actually passed since you last saw a bit of video, and that's because I ordered five bolts when I needed six, so I had to wait a few days for some more to turn up. But now I have the last bolt, which I've cut down and can go. <laughs> I'm trying not to show you in the clock. I've used cap nuts on these because it just makes it look nice. Right, I'm just going to line up. And we're done. There we go. I normally hand brush this aluminium, um, but it was in such good condition and I thought the pattern fit nicer with the outside, the sort of grainy texture that I've, uh, I've clear coated that. Uh, I've also painted up some hands because I thought red would be a nice contrasting colour and it is now done. I've also signed on the back Spice 110 2019, uh, Relay Riders UK and Lamb Chop Rides because it came from his bike. So there you go. I know this is only a little short build uh, video because I just wanted to show for the person who wins this uh, where it came from and the fact that I made it. I'll leave a link in the description to all their different sites and things and you can find out more information there and exactly how you can win. They'll let you know how you can win it. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, and equally, as a cheeky reminder, my name is Spicy110. I do run the Spicy110 Metalworks where I make clocks out of old motorcycle parts and things. And equally, I've recently started doing commissions where you can send me your old brake disc sprockets and I can turn it into uh, a clock for you. Great work, guys. Catch you next time.